Floop is a web app that allows teachers to collect student work and then provide timely and meaningful feedback on that work. Students can engage with that feedback quickly and easily, allowing them to focus more on the process rather than the end result. The best way to understand how it works is by seeing it in action. Let's begin by creating a new teacher account. Head over to floopedu.com and click on the sign up button. Click on I am a teacher and then sign up with Google. Fill out the information to create your profile. And then set up your first class. Now we can head over to our dashboard to continue with the setup process. The next thing we need to do is to add students. So we should head over to one of our classes and click on students on the left hand side. Here we'll see a green button that says add students. Clicking on that will give us the information that we need to provide to our class so that they can join the Floop classroom. Let's now switch over to a student view so we can see what the sign up process looks like for them. At floopedu.com, students click on the sign up button and select I'm a student. Then they select sign up with Google. Students are asked to create a profile with their name and birthday. Then they add the class code that you gave them and click on join class. Once they're in, all that needs to happen is you need to post an assignment for them to work on and submit. Let's head back over to the teacher view to see how you can assign work to students. In the all assignments area of your dashboard, click on the plus button to create a new assignment. You can choose which class or classes to send it to, the due date, and then give your assignment a name and a description. Click Save to send the assignment off to students. Once again, let's head over to the student view to see what an assignment looks like. Students will see active assignments in their to-do list. Clicking on assignment will give them all of the details. And when they're ready, they can click Submit to upload an image or a PDF of their work. Then they click on Submit Work to send the assignment off to their teacher. Let's go back to the teacher view. Back in the teacher dashboard, you'll see exactly what's been assigned and you can click on a particular assignment and then a student's name to view that student's work and begin providing feedback. This is where Floop really shines. To leave feedback, just click anywhere on the student's work that you want to leave a comment, and it will create an interactive hotspot that can be clicked on to view that comment. Comments are saved automatically and appear immediately for students. As you leave feedback, you have the option to add your comments to a comment bank so that you can quickly and easily use them again for other students' work. Each comment begins a discussion thread between you and the student, so that students can reply to your feedback and you can go back and forth to create a deeper understanding. Let's head back over to the student view and see what it looks like from their end. In the student's dashboard, they'll see a pink circle with the number of feedback items that the teacher has left on this particular assignment. They can click on it and select View Feedback to see what the teacher had to say. Clicking on the yellow hotspots brings up the feedback piece as well as a box where students can reply to their teacher's comments. This continues that threaded discussion that we mentioned earlier. This feedback process can continue back and forth as long as is necessary. Teachers can eventually assign a grade right within Floop to assess the student's overall performance, not only on their work, but on this feedback and interaction process. Another nice feature of Floop is the ability for teachers to assign peer feedback so that students can anonymously review and comment on their classmates' work. Overall, it's a great way to quickly and easily add feedback to students' work and put more emphasis on the process of learning rather than just on the end product and a grade.
It's definitely a tool that's worth checking out.